Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, they say, what is the solution set for x in the equation below? Let's solve it algebraically, and then we'll solve it graphically. So algebraically, um, I'm going to rewrite it. We have the square root of x plus 1 minus 1 equals x. I want to get rid of this square root, but I don't want to square just yet, because squaring this would require me to square basically what would essentially be a, a large binomial. We're going to square this first term and second term, it's complicated. So what I usually tell students is that if you want to get rid of a square root, you're going to want to square at some point, but make your life easy by get rid of, getting rid of or moving any of these additional terms to the other side. And if we do that, we add one to both sides, we get this. Okay, now when we square both sides, things are a bit easier to work with. On the left hand side now, the square root and the square just cancel out and what's left is x plus 1. On the right hand side we have x plus 1 times itself, so that's x squared plus 2x plus 1. And this is a little bit easier to work with. If I subtract x and 1 on both sides, I would get x squared plus x, 2x minus x is just x, <clears throat> and 1 minus 1 is 0. So we're dealing with this right here, and I would just factor x out. Now I can solve it by saying, well, x could be 0, or x plus 1 could be 0, in which case x is negative 1. So the two x values that would satisfy this are 0 and negative 1, which is choice 3. On the calculator, though, we can also do this. And maybe one easy way to deal with this is under y equals, I'm going to uh, clear out old equations there. I just hit second square root x plus 1, go outside now of the square root, minus 1, that's my first equation, and second equation is when just when y equals x. So I'm thinking, let me graph this as an equation of this and find out when they're equal, when they cross. So I press zoom 6 as a standard. Right, we've got a square root and then we've got our linear function there. We're just going to go to zoom zoom in right there, and enter, enter, and there's our square root function and linear function, and you can see they're crossing, um, but it's still a little hard to see where that is, so um, if I go to second calc, let's go to intersect, and scroll over about here, and so if I hit enter, I should jump to the second curve, enter again. So it's going to give me a solution when x is 0, y is 0. Now the other solution should be uh, at negative 1. So let's see if I can get there. Oops. So it's a little difficult to see here. And maybe that's it's interesting. Um, Am I missing something? If x is negative 1, no, that should work. So I wonder why that is. I'm going to go enter. Oops. I'm going to go hit second trace, and I'm going to go to intersect again. See if I can get it to work. So here, I, I'm not getting an output for y. I'm going to go back a tiny bit there and enter. Enter and enter again. And it's still giving me 0, 0. Why is that? Let me go to the second graph or table here. See here, it's interesting. The table, you can see that they're, they're equal. I don't know why I can't get the graph to see that. Let me just change the zoom in for a moment. Let me go zoom in. And let me zoom in around a point I'm interested in. So there is the root function. So here, I mean, it looks like they're not so, so it looks like they're not touching there. It could be with the resolution of the graph. It's a pretty interesting problem then. Let me try one more time. Maybe I can get it to work. All right, so there's my cursor. Nope, go back the other way, sorry. Okay, so there's the cursor. Hit, go as close as possible. Enter, enter, and let me make sure I'm to the left of it. Maybe that'll do it. Quit, no sign change, go to. I'm not sure what's happening. Fascinating. All right, well, anyway. Um, I mean, it's definitely true when x is negative 1, but I'm not sure why it's not popping on the graphing calculator. I will look into that. If you know anything, please let me know. All right, I hope that helped.